Hi guys, today we are talking about ultimate guide to protein, what you need to know, why you need to know, why you need the protein and where do you find it. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel today. We are talking about one of the most essential nutrients for your body, protein. It is not just for bodybuilders, it is the building block of life. Okay, in this video, we will break down what protein is, how much you need and where you can get it and when to take it. So, what is the protein and why it is important? Think of protein as your body's construction crew. Okay, in the construction ground, there are a lot of people who are working, hard working people who are working. So, they are called as crew. So, like it is, like that, your protein is to your body. It's one of the three main macronutrients. And its primary job is to build and repair tissues. Produce vital enzymes, enzymes and hormones and support your immune system. Without enough protein, your body simply cannot function at its best. So, how much protein do you need? So, so, the question is, yes, we need protein. It's like crew in a construction site. All that is fine. But do we, how much do we need? Do we need 1 gram, 10 gram, 100 grams? So, that's the question. So, keep watching the video completely, guys. Do not miss any point. Very, very essential uh, part of our body is the protein. Uh, so, please go through it. So, how much is enough? The amount you need to depends on your age and activity level. For example, infants, infant children need about 2 grams per kilogram of body weight per day. That means if the baby is about 5 kgs, so they need 5 into 2, 10 grams and that they need per day. Toddler and children up to 10. So toddler and children who are, let us say, uh, age up to 10, maybe they are weighing 25 kgs. So they need 1 gram per kilogram per day. That means 25 into 1, 25, kilog uh, 25 grams. Adolescents and adults, the recommendation is 0.8 grams per kilogram per day. It is reducing, guys. Please watch 2 gram, 1 gram, 0.8 gram. Because adults may be weighing 60 kgs. 60 kg into 0.8 is 48 grams. So, net net quantity is more, but uh, per gram per kg is reducing. Physically active individuals and athletes need more from 1.2 to 2 grams per kilogram per day. So, people who are very active athletes, they need more. Pregnant and breastfeeding individuals, the ladies who are pregnant, breastfeeding individual should aim for 1.1 grams per kilogram per day to support both mom and baby. But next is, uh, so what else? How, how does the protein uh, gets digested? How long it will take in our body? Uh, that's very important, guys. So we can take the protein, but digestion is also very important. Protein digestion typically takes 3 to 4 hours. Animal protein often takes longer to digest than a plant-based proteins. So there are plant-based proteins and animal-based proteins. So... The proteins have, plants have fiber, uh, proteins because plants have fiber which can slow things down. Protein is especially great for a few reasons, particularly if you are managing things like diabetes. So coming to topic again, why protein is very especially so, uh, required for people who are suffering from diabetes and managing diabetes. Blood sugar stability. Protein helps to keep your blood sugar level steady. Statity. Statty. It makes you feel full and satisfied, which helps to reduce cravings. So if your body is not full, so you will start keep having cravings. You want to eat something, you want to eat some biscuits, some chocolates like that. So that craving should reduce. You will run for sugar. So you should not do sugar cravings. Muscle maintenance. Adequate protein intake is key to preserving muscle mass. So that is another issue with diabetes people. 
they will start losing the muscle mass please ensure that is taken care reducing risk of complication a protein rich diet can help to prevent health complications so important guys uh, protein rich diet will help to prevent health complication protein sources so where do we get the protein okay that is a, another important topic because if you don't know where we get the protein what is the source of the protein and uh, how much to consume the, we already discussed so now it is important is where is it soya and soya based products cooked soya beans contains 16.6 grams tofu contains 17 grams tempeh 19 grams edamame 11 grams legumes if it is cooked chickpeas 8.9 grams black beans 8.9 grams lentils above about 7 to 9 grams depending on the type of sprouted legumes sprouted moong beans about 4 grams so continue to watch guys so very very important uh, uh, topic we are discussing about protein availability in which of uh, the item how much grams will be available is very very important because that is what we are going to take the source sprouted black chickpeas 9 grams eggs meat and poultry scrambled eggs 9.4 grams boiled eggs 12.6 grams raw skinless chicken bre- uh, breast 23 grams meat and fish raw tuna 20 grams raw salmon 20 grams raw lean mutton 25 grams part next is sample vegetarian diet plan so we should know what is the sample of the uh, vegetarian diet plan so which will give us how much of protein we should take and uh, how to consume it for our vegetarian viewers getting enough protein is totally doable don't always think that non vegetarian meals will have mm, more proteins no it is not necessary it is how you arrange your mm, meal and uh, the plate uh, okay here is some sample diet uh, that gives you over 60 grams of protein in a day early morning five soaked almonds that is each of them consisting of 1.5 grams so breakfast paneer stuffed moong dal chila with tomato chutney it contains 14 grams so mid morning apple with peanut butter apple with peanut butter has 4 grams so lunch salad palak dal and rice and palak dal curry 16 grams evening snacks roasted chana contains 6 grams dinner tofu salad dal tikkis and a mint chutney 26.5 grams so totally day protein a solid of 68 grams protein is a powerhouse nutrient that is essential for everyone by understanding your daily needs and incorporating a variety of sources into your diet is very very important guys you can support your body's health and vitality if you find if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up like share subscribe to your friends and family and if you want more content like this please let us know in the comments so what is your favorite protein sources so please put a comment about your favorite protein source because i have talked about what is applicable and how you can try but if you are already trying some uh, source of uh, vitamin please uh, and protein please let us know how to how you are sourcing currently thank you hi guys welcome back to another interesting topic reversing type 2 diabetics isn't a lifelong prison sentence with the right dietary changes blood sugar can normalize energy can return and dependence on medication medication can decrease 
the transformation begins not with the fear of sugar levels or endless prescriptions but with a food first approach backed by science so in this video guys we are going to remove that myth okay that uh, diabetics means you have to endlessly have the prescriptions and medicine throughout your life you can always think about how to break this myth what is the con uh, misconception what is the myth many people believe diabetics means permanent drug use the moment once we start the uh, medicine it's done lifelong i have to take the medicine permanent drug use and strict carb restriction that is another thinking in reality targeted whole foods can resolve insulin sensitivity and outperform many medications one real example of an individual who reduced his hb1ac from 9.2 to 5.1 stopped medication and regained vitality simply through dietary shifts the key the five key foods what are those five key foods uh, which he practiced and what is advised is a high fiber plant beans lentils chickpeas oats and leafy greens show glue slow glucose absorption and prevent insulin spikes a 2022 Uh, meta analysis showed that 90 grams of daily fiber reduced hb1ac by 0.9% even without cutting calories structuring meals as half vegetables one quarter legumes one quarter whole grains can bring improvements within a weeks within may not be a single week it could be couple of weeks guys please note it is very interesting please keep watching the video completely i will tell you more tricks the item 2 is fenugreek seeds packed with soluble fiber and compounds that enhances beta cell repair fenugreek lowers fasting blood glucose and hb1ac significantly consuming 10 g of daily soaked overnight reduced fasting blood sugar by 48 mg per dl which is very significant guys and hb1ac by 0.85% in 12 weeks uh, however caution is advised for people with blood thinners so what is the third one almonds and peanuts their magnesium and healthy fats supports insulin sensitivity and cut post meal spikes by nearly 30% a small daily handful of these peanuts and almonds can keep your uh, readings steady raw or dry roasted forms are best to avoid excess calories uh, item number 4 is bitter melon rich in insulin like compounds bit bitter melon helps glucose control a thai study shows uh, found that 2000 mg daily reduced hb1ac by 0.6% in 3 months it is most effective fresh in stir fries though those on metformin must monitor closely for low sugar you should not end up with low sugar that is hypoglycemia item number 5 is american ginseng it is gins ginseno sites lower oxidative stress and improves glucose uptake 3 grams before a metal um, before a meal reduce blood sugar by 20% in trials ginseng tea before meals taken in cycles works well but should be avoided with war warfarin or stimulants putting it together reversal comes from synergy not superfoods alone pairing these foods with daily walks 
restorative sleep and structured meals creates lasting change typical might they might include oats with chia and berries fenugreek water bean chilli almonds bitter melon still fry and ginseng tea such approach just now form part of lifestyle medicine guidelines which defines remission as maintaining hb1ac below 6.5% for 3 months without medication what are the pitfalls and success keys don't just add foods replace refined carbs and processed snacks control portion sizes even of healthy foods aim for gradual weight loss and never stop medication until this is helping you suddenly you should not stop medication always consult a doctor discuss the whole plan with your doctor final encouragement the path to remission is gradual it may not happen with 3 4 months start with one habit then build the other one type 2 diabetes says diabetes can be reversed with the right steps share this knowledge inspire others and prove that transformation is possible guys along with this video i have attached continuing on the same topic we will provide ai video for your better understanding reversing type 2 diabetes is a journey rather than a lifelong sentence the essence of this transformation lies not in continuous medication but in adopting a scientifically supported diet that can normalize blood sugar boost energy and gradually reduce reliance on medications by approaching diabetes management with a focus on nutrition individuals can overcome the fears associated with their sugar levels and make significant health changes many misconceptions surround the world of diabetes a common belief is that it necessitates indefinite drug use and severe carbohydrate restriction however the truth is that incorporating specific whole foods into one's diet can dramatically enhance insulin sensitivity often exceeding the benefits of medication for instance one person's impressive journey saw their hba1c drop from 9.2 to 5 once solely through dietary adjustments regaining their vitality in the process The foundation of reversing diabetes often includes five key foods that can usher in remarkable changes. First, high fiber plants like beans, lentils and leafy greens are essential. They can slow glucose absorption and prevent insulin spikes. Research indicates that consuming about 90 grams of fiber daily can lead to notable reductions in HbA1c. Second, fenugreek seeds stand out due to their soluble fiber and compounds that support beta cell repair, resulting in significant reductions in fasting glucose levels. Third, almonds and peanuts, rich in magnesium and healthy fats, can lower post-meal blood sugar spikes by nearly 30%. Additionally, incorporating bitter melon, known for its insulin-like properties, can effectively manage glucose levels. Lastly, American ginseng can enhance glucose uptake and reduce oxidative stress, offering yet another tool in managing diabetes. Successfully incorporating these foods into daily routines enables individuals to see improvements quickly, especially when paired with lifestyle changes such as regular exercise and restorative sleep. The journey to better health includes careful planning. Simply adding healthy foods isn't enough. It's crucial to replace refined carbohydrates and manage portion sizes. Realistic goals for weight loss and consulting healthcare providers before making drastic changes are essential parts of the process. Embrace these strategies to pave your way toward remission. Progress can be gradual. Start with one healthy habit, establish it, and then build from there. Each small victory fuels the journey, leading to a healthier, more vibrant life. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Share your thoughts in comments section.